Can you explain legislation, procedures and requirements relating to environmental issues, especially pest control, to members of the public? Do you have excellent written and verbal communication skills? Have you the ability to investigate, analyse and provide solutions to pest problems? Do you have outstanding people skills for dealing with people from all backgrounds? In South Africa, pest management officers are called environmental health practitioners or EHPs. It's mandatory that environmental health practitioners are registered with the Health Professions Council of South Africa. As a group, these practitioners have a scope of practice that ranges from inspecting environmental, commercial and housing developments to waste management, water services as well as pollution control. Pest management is included in this scope. Some EHPs deal specifically with issues concerning the identification and eradication of pest and vector breeding areas. When necessary, these EHPs follow procedures set out by the International Health Regulations for the control of vector-borne communicable diseases associated with international travel, such as the spraying of aeroplanes. Vectors are disease-carrying organisms, such as mosquitoes, that carry malaria. EHPs work for municipalities and for government departments that require their services. The EHPs inspect buildings, industrial complexes, houses and businesses for any signs of pests or pest activity. They provide specialist advice to industries, such as aviation, shipping and export-import companies. The EHP follows up complaints from the public regarding pests and investigates the outbreak of pest infestations. During the initial stage, the EHP identifies the type of pest and where it's concentrated. They may collect samples for laboratory testing. They determine which eradication method is best under the circumstances. If more than one treatment option exists, the EHP must also evaluate the potential costs and environmental damage against the benefits. The actual eradication of the pests is carried out by a pest removal company and not usually by the EHP. Sometimes people are distressed by their pest problems or upset because a prior treatment failed to eliminate the pest. The EHP needs to be tactful but firm, especially if they need to explain to the owner of the inspected property how the problem is being made worse or why a previous treatment did not solve the infestation. The EHP writes reports of what needs to be done and gives deadlines and a second inspection date. They work closely with environmental departments from other areas, other municipal offices, environmental specialists, the public and a wide range of businesses. Although EHPs work from offices, they spend a considerable amount of time visiting sites. These inspection sites might be dirty, unpleasant or potentially dangerous. Protective clothing such as safety masks, gloves and overalls are worn when necessary. The officer often has to enter cramped spaces with frequent climbing, kneeling, stooping and crawling. In order to enter this occupation, an appropriate and recognised qualification for environmental health practitioners would be required, as well as registration with the Health Professions Council of South Africa as an environmental health practitioner. Progression involves moving into supervisory positions and eventually to program management or research posts. With experience, environmental health practitioners may become consultants.